so I just wanted to share real quick, um, just a quick testimony on God's faithfulness and God's goodness, right? I remember I had been saved, right? I was saved in juvenile hall. I was facing some serious time. But then I got off of that charge and I went back to the world. I forgot what the Lord did for me. But during that time and in that period, I remember very, very clearly one night I was partying with my homeboys. We were partying, doing what we did, right? And we were at this house and right down the street from that house, some people had done a beer run and we had done beer runs before, don't get me wrong, but that night we hadn't done it. It wasn't us. But because they knew we were partying at that house, they assumed that it was us. So they went and they um, they didn't arrest us, but they picked us up and they drove us back to the Minute Market to that store so they could identify us, so they could see if it was us that had done that beer run, right? And I'll never forget, I was sitting in the back seat of the cop car on the way there and that police officer must have been a Christian, right? Because he, he, he was playing uh, Caleb. And... We had been partying, I had been drinking with my boys, so I was a little buzzed. But here's what I do remember. As soon as I heard the Christian music coming out of those speakers, I sobered up. The Holy Spirit filled me up in, in the backseat of that uh, of that cop car, because I was already saved. But I couldn't really say nothing. I was around these gang members, and I was around these pretty hardcore homeboys of mine. But I felt the Spirit of God in me. And I saw his faithfulness and I understood his faithfulness at that moment that no matter where I found myself, he was going to reach out for me, right? I say that to say this. First of all, what I just said, God will reach out for you. God will come after you if you're one of his own, like he promises to when he says that uh, he will leave 99 sheep and come out and find the one that has gone astray. He will do that. But also I say this just to encourage any Christian brothers. The faithfulness of that police officer to be playing Caleb. The faithfulness of him to not care or worry what anybody thought about him. He was on the job. He was doing what he was supposed to do. But he was also letting his Christianity shine through. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. You never know in what way God is going to use you. To reach somebody like that night he used that police officer he used Caleb and he used that situation to to speak to me and to fill me up with the Holy Spirit in the back of a police car quick testimony be blessed God is good God is faithful